Hello, my friends. It is Tuesday, but in like the work world, it's Monday. Um, because we had Monday off. So it just, it was like the most Mondayest of Tuesdays. And this week I'm doing like the weekly vlog. Um, so I'm like actually just gonna like document like what a week in, well, what the days look like in a week. Today was a good day. It was super busy. I'm feeling really tired. I'm having a really hard time sleeping at night. My mind is just racing. Um, so I feel a little out of it, but I'm home and I'm prepping dinner. I'm just like literally cutting up some Brussels sprouts. I thought I'd go ahead and show you what I meal prepped for lunch during the work week. So let's cut away to that. Ha <laughs> ha, cut away, I have a knife. I'm cutting Brussels sprouts. I planned it, that was the perfect segue. All right, this is what I prepped for lunch this week. I have one package of ground organic chicken breast and then to it I'm adding one shallot. Actually, it was like half of a small shallot, so not a whole shallot. And then one stock of celery. And I'm going to make like little buffalo chicken bites. So I have that, I'm gonna add one egg, then like half a cup of seasoned breadcrumbs. Also going to add some hot sauce of your choice. I'm going to add a lot because I like things very spicy. And then you don't want to over mix, but you just want to get everything combined. But definitely do not over mix this. Now I'm just going to eyeball this and put it into a large muffin tin. All right, and I'm just going to throw this in the oven for 30 minutes at 375. So I just finished prepping lunch for tomorrow and I thought I'd show you exactly what I'm taking for lunch. So. I have that porter container I got for Christmas along with this one, I love them. Here are the buffalo chicken meatloaves. I'm doing two, salad, and then this one has extra hot sauce and this one has a light avocado ranch. I'll just keep those in my fridge for the week. Some string cheese, some hummus with crushed red pepper and broccoli, that will be a snack. A couple cashews and then these are my favorite. They're from the ground up and they're cauliflower crackers. So I have those for a snack as well. And yep, that is my lunch prep. So that's what I prep for lunch. What I will tell you is it was absolutely delicious. It hit the spot and yeah, I absolutely loved it. Um, it's a recipe that I've been making a while. It's just like the easiest like go-to and I hadn't made it in a while. For dinner tonight, I'm keeping it really, really simple. I'm gonna do some balsamic glazed Brussels sprouts. So I have like a full bag of Brussels sprouts and I'm just literally cutting off the ends and then having them. And I'm gonna mix a little olive oil, some balsamic. I have the oven preheating to 500. And then I also have a rotisserie chicken and we're going to have some chicken to go with the Brussels sprouts. So it is a quick and easy dinner that I can easily handle and get done. And that is the plan. I also would love to know, I think having a Monday off just makes for a tough week. I would rather, and I know this sounds crazy, I would rather just work through the full week, Monday through Friday, than have a Monday off. I just think it, it makes the week feel long. I just, I don't love, I don't love a Monday. I do not love a Monday, but Maybe I'm alone. Let me know in the comments below. Do you like having a Monday off or does it make your week feel a little discombobulated? Also this, today I felt like I needed, I still feel that way. I still feel like I need about four hours to the day to get everything done that I need to get done. But you know what my friends, sometimes you gotta own the fact that your to-do list will always have things to do. And like sometimes you gotta become okay with letting some things on the to-do list. All right, I'm going to finish cutting up all these Brussels sprouts and then literally going to show you how easily I am prepping them. It is, I promise you, it is nothing fancy or earth shattering, but it's a simple first day back to work meal that's healthy and nutritious. And I'm prepping enough Brussels sprouts so that I have 
some leftover for the week. You know what's interesting? I have hated Brussels sprouts my whole life. Like, wouldn't even touch them. My sister always loved them. And now, it is honest to goodness one of my favorite vegetables. If a restaurant we go to has Brussels sprouts on the menu, I will always, always, always order them. I love them. What is the one vegetable that you hated as a kid, but now as an adult, or not even just vegetable? What's like the one food item that you used to hate as a kid, but now you love as an adult? I really wanna learn to like fish. It is so good for you. I just can't bring myself to eat it. I will never order it. I just, I don't know. I have to just give it a try. Maybe that is like a goal for 2020, is that I give fish a try. Um, I like shrimp, but I don't know. There's something about fish. Steven loves it too, so if I could get used to it, he would be in his glory. So my next question for you is this. I need like a very white, non-fishy fish to start. So what is like the first fish to try that has like the least fishy taste? I need it to be very white and flaky, I feel. Oh. All right, we're gonna prep these Brussels sprouts. I just finished cutting them. Let me flip you guys around so you can see exactly what I'm gonna do, which I promise will not be earth shattering. So simple. I already have my Brussels sprouts in here. I had already washed them and let them dry um, overnight, so they're already washed. Cut off the ends, have them, and now I'm just going to add a couple things to flavor them up. Throw them on the baking sheet that's pre, the oven is preheating to 500. Anything less than 500, you're not roasting. You're just like steaming and making them mushy. If you want a crispy, good Brussels sprout, oven has to be at 500. All right, let's go ahead and get these going. This is what we're going to do. We are going to add a splash of olive oil. And then I'm immediately going to give these guys a toss in the oil. Here is a trick um, that so many people do. Some people put the olive oil on and then their seasonings then mix. When you do that, your seasonings stick really unevenly. So if you get a good coat of oil on these first and then add your seasonings, do another mix, don't dump everything and then mix it. It gets really uneven. This will allow you to get a much more even spread with your seasonings, and I do one at a time. So onion powder, give it a stir. Now I'm gonna add garlic powder, give it a stir. Kosher salt, I'm really digging kosher salt right now. Give it a stir. And then lastly, well not last, next some pepper. that up and then I'm gonna go around the pan a couple times with some balsamic vinegar give this a stir oh this smells so good now I'm just gonna dump these on a really large cookie sheet make sure they're spread out not touching and that all the cut edges are facing down I feel like you should know but like a glamorous weeknight is like for us as a couple. So what have we done this evening? Uh, I walked him. Uh, and While he walked him, I finished making dinner. Um, we then, ate dinner. <laughs> we, ate, we ate dinner. You watched TV. We opened a bottle of wine. Yes. We yeah. uh, well we didn't watch great TV. We caught up. I caught up on the View. Yeah. Uh, I called my father because he was. It was his birthday. Talk to my mom and then talk to dad. Uh, and then um, we talked a little bit uh, amongst ourselves. And now here we sit. Yes. Steven's at his desk. I'm in the corner blue chair. And I'm laying on this fabulous rug brought to you by Overstock. It'll be linked down below. No, it won't, Bubba's. Good try, though. This is what every night is like. I feel like Vlogmas is such a misinterpretation because I have like a theme night every night. I don't have a theme every night. It is called sweatpants, sweatshirt, go to bed. I'm literally, what time is it? Uh, 7.30. I really might go to bed and watch this tennis match in bed. I told you to. You were exhausted when you came up from work. Also, we need to go through this bookcase again. You need to trim down on the books. I should uh, give my uh, reading recommendations, my book club recommendations to the viewers. Yeah, but that's so many books to look through. 
No, I, I, I know what my top ten are. What are your top ten books? Uh, Great Expectations. Expectations. By Charles Dickens. I've known that since... That was... I think you told me that on our first date. Yeah, it's still my favorite. Writer. I feel like I got you a copy... A special copy of it or something for oh, something. I got you a copy of it. Oh, that's right. Yes. Wasn't that the year you hid, like, gifts around your apartment? Yes, for Valentine's Day. It was our first Valentine's oh, Day. Oh, that's when you did romantic things. Yes. Many, many, many you, years ago. Our very first Valentine's Day together... Stephen hid... 12 years ago. Anyway, Stephen hid gifts all over his apartment for me. Like, all over the apartment. And then one of them, oddly enough, was a stuffed Labradoodle. Because we had, like, talked while we were dating of, like, oh, like, w I would love to have a Labradoodle. We would name him Toby. Little did we know that Toby would turn into Bubba's. So he bought me the stuffed Labradoodle. There was a book. There was, like, workout clothes. Yeah, because you remember the green Nike? You bought it for me. It was like a piece of workout clothing. Yeah. It's like a running, like, Nike really nice dry fit shirt. I forget what else. Chocolate. Choc a candle. Blue yes, Blue like Blue. a monogrammed candle from, like, Pottery Barn, yeah. I want to say. It is. Yeah, he had, like, yeah. little gifts hidden. Let me tell you the last time he's hidden a gift for me. Oh, Christmas. The TV was hidden in the car. Yeah. Yeah. So, see you there, you go. What a what a gem. So Great Expectations is book number one. What are the other nine? Uh, Oryx and Crepe by Margaret Atwood. I, I think it's much better than her other works. Uh, it's a trilogy. I love it. Um, let's see. Oh, A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. Is there some place? Is it bright yellow? Uh, no, it's blue. Uh, and it's very... Oh, there it is. Here it is. Yes. This is a very good book. I loved it. Um, I don't know. I'll give you my... I can't think... Oh, I can't think of my... Um, People are always asking for your book recommendations. Oh, well, I, I, I read a lot. I know. So... I love this book. This was a couple of songs ago. Oh, you did like that. Yes. I remember you talking I about that. I stayed up all night and I read it. Um, let me see. Oh, this is good. This is a new uh, one. I love you, but is that really how you're going to put that book back in that stack? Well, I'll fix it later. And the gnome. Um, also, Stephen loves gnomes. Yes. Uh, Inland. Uh, this is a very good Western book. Oh my god, look what he's doing to the books. Now they're all falling yeah, over. He's gonna literally send me into a panic attack. This one's nice. Rebecca McKay, The Great Believers. That was a good book. The Knicks. I read this. This is a good book. Right now, I am reading uh, The Testaments by Margaret Atwood. So, I'm gonna just finish some other one. You one. said... Like, half of these are yours, half of these are mine, and you can tell the difference between the two. I read some very good books. No, I know, but, you know, I like to read a lot of, like, uh, literary fiction, like, British fiction. You like to read a lot of fiction, American fiction. Um, I read a lot of nonfiction, though, too. Well, yeah. I feel like I read a lot more nonfiction than you do. Yeah, I think you do. I mean, I, I read some, but... I love a good biography or memoir. You know what book I'm most excited about that comes out February 4th? What? Jessica Simpson, The Open Book. See, I would never read that. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait for it. Sounds like garbage. Oh my gosh, and you know I'm going to love every second oh. of it. Hey, my friends. It is Wednesday, and it is 12.14 a.m. I um, didn't vlog anything today because of a couple things. I went to work, it was a super busy day, super productive, um, and then uh, went and saw the Broadway musical tour of Anastasia. It was really great. Anastasia had a beautiful voice. Um, got home around 10.30, and then I have been working since then, um, getting stuff done for work. and have a meeting, um, very well prepared, feel really good going into it tomorrow, but just took a lot of time. And I need to be up in about four hours to work a 12-hour day. 
Um, so doing all the things. But there was really nothing to see. I um, had the same lunch. You guys saw what I meal prepped this week. Um, I came home and ate like a very quick dinner. I made just like a turkey sandwich. He is sound asleep upstairs. I didn't want to disturb him. I knew I had to work I needed to get done. Um, yeah. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you guys. Remember how I talked to you about that habit tracker that was sold out? Well, I talked to Jenny, one of the creators, and it's probably not coming back, but I had an extra one and I laminated it so that I can keep using it and just peel the stickers off of it. I'm so excited. Um, and then this is that 3M piece that I was telling you about that you can, that you can attach to documents and then snap it into your planner. I just think this is like the greatest thing. I also have to be honest with you guys about something. I've been keeping a secret. So in January, I was going to do a no spend month. I've epically failed. I mean, I have failed. You know what, it's okay. I'll start over in February. Maybe we'll try it in February. Or maybe I'll do like an every other no spend week. I just did not do well in January. I ended up getting Stephen and I like a family gift for Valentine's Day. Um, he has no clue. It should be arriving this week. Um, yeah, I just bought a couple things. I didn't do well, my friends. But you know what? It's okay. Um, intermittent fasting has been going really well. I've stuck to that. Um... I've got my yoga done every day, but I've not worked out. But, you know, you can't do it all. Um, but I have been able to do the things that have been really important. Um, work is super important to me right now. Um, things are so good, and I want to keep it that way. Um, and that requires a lot of work. But, yeah. I want to try to get... Uh, three or four hours of sleep before I have to get up. This meeting's at 7 a.m. I gotta be ready to go as soon as I hit the door. All right, my friends, I will see you in the morning. Actually, I probably won't see you in the morning. I'll probably see you when I get home. Talk to you soon. There are all sorts of crazy things happening with my hair. It is Thursday, my friends. Um, and like, you are getting a picture of the week. I came home because I did not fall asleep until about, it's probably two in the morning. I woke up at five, I actually slept in and got to work. Um, came home around six, fell asleep, I woke up, and now I'm flipping back and forth between the Australian Open and, um, and uh, the US National Figure Skating Championships. But here's the deal, because I slept, I missed my fast, my eating window and my fast. So like, I can't eat until 11 o'clock tomorrow. And the last time I ate was around three o'clock. So I'm starving, but I'm just gonna keep myself super busy and distracted. Um, yeah, so Steven is already upstairs asleep. He is also exhausted. We've both been like, burning the candle at both ends and just really, really tired. I'm also going to put on obnoxiously large glasses. Go ahead, feel free to write mean comments down below, but I absolutely love them. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's what's happening right now. <laughs> I just, I've literally just walked three laps around the island for no apparent reason. I literally have no reason why I I did that, but um, yeah, this is a Thursday. This is life, it's not glamorous, it's real. All right friends, it is Friday, it is 5.30 and I am home. And like I told you, the no spent month has not been going well. We're gonna try it again at a later time. Um, but I have a delivery that came, I'm super excited, it's my first time dabbling with them. Um, there are many influencers behind my purchase as well as um, just being very curious about them and also knowing I wanted some new notebooks for 2020. So I'm going to flip you around and we're going to unbox it together. 
It sounded like, I had like an Oprah moment there. I have made my first Smythson purchase and I'm so excited. So this one is just a little pocket one for my planner. Oh my God, it's so stinking cute. Um, there's a couple of reasons why I chose this one. My grandmother loved Charlotte Bronte and it said, I would always rather be happy than dignified. And it's just a little beautiful notebook. Oh, it's so soft. Like this is so like buttery and soft. I love it. So I got this yellow one. And then in this bad boy, I didn't want a planner because I'm committed to my start planner. I just want like very good notebooks. Da, 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 da. I hope it is pretty. I also had this one personalized. So the fact that it was this quick, I think I ordered them earlier this week. This is the large one and all I, I wanted to keep it really simple. So I just got 2020 put and it's like this beautiful like navy blue. Um, this one is the Portobello. I will leave it linked down below. Um, but this is the Portobello and this is the, um, the Panama. But it's just, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. It has the beautiful gilded edges. I really just love how simple this is. I might get on Neiman Marcus and buy like an Anya Heinmark sticker to personalize it a little bit more. Like I think like a beautiful C right there would be really pretty. But I love them so much. I can't wait. Also, let me show you. I also purchased some really thin washi and drafting tape to also like personalize these notebooks a little bit more to set up sections. So I'm just like abundantly excited about this. Yay, Smithson. Um, like I said, Steven is, I'm talking while I'm putting things away. Steven is walking Bubba's and I mentioned maybe going on a date tonight. I highly doubt we'll do that, but we shall see. Steven and I just got back from a date night. We went out to dinner at a local a restaurant that we really like and it's like 7, 19 p.m. on a Friday. Where do you think we'll be in the next 45 minutes? Bed. We are Sleep. absolutely going to bed, so we will pick up tomorrow. Are you ready for seepies? Yes. We went first are you ready for seepies? So yeah, it's 7.19 and we're gonna head off to bed. See you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday morning. It is 6.15. I just sent like a flurry of uh, weekend work emails that I always send every Saturday morning. Um, but I've been up since about five because um, I just want to put a couple finishing touches on some of them. <clears throat> Steven is clearly still in bed. Bubba's is asleep on the couch. It's raining outside. But yeah, we did that date night and literally Steven and I were both sound asleep about 45 minutes after we came home. It's just been like a very long week, but not long in a negative way, just like lots going on, lots of things happening, lots of things to do. Um, so yeah, you saw like a glimpse of a week and now we're gonna move into like the whole regular weekend vlog. I just thought it would be cool to give you like a little snapshot of each day, literally a little snapshot, um, because really the weeks are very, like just on the go from work to just get dinner made, get the rest of the work done, go to bed. Um, so now it's the weekend and we can all breathe a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make a cup of coffee, of course. Ooh, that's some nice refrigerator lighting. And with this raspy voice, I don't think it could get any better. Okay, I'm gonna make some coffee and then we can catch up and most likely head to the gym. Have you ever tried to run across our lawn barefoot at two in the morning I, the snow? I can't say I have. Let me tell you, I tried it last night because I let our wonderful pet, Bubba's, out to go to the bathroom and he ran to the, to the wood line and I lost sight of him. So you ran through the yard? I across the front lawn barefoot because I didn't have any shoes on and... Where was he? He ran to the where the trees are. I don't know what was out there. I couldn't see. I mean, I could see him because he's black and it was snowy out, but, and he wouldn't come inside. So I'm out there in my 
pajamas with no shoes on. So finally I had to drag him in. I got a hold of his collar, I dragged him in. And by the time I got back to the front door, my feet were <laughs> so, they hurt so much. It felt like I was like walking on broken glass because I was in the snow. Barefoot. Was he chasing something? Something was out there. I didn't see anything, but something was out there. Bubby, what did you do last night? Was part in. Oh my. I, I was asleep during all of this. Yeah, you were. And it was lovely. I was shouting his name. The neighbors probably woke up, saw me out there. I went back to bed and was just like, oh, whatever. Bubs. Bubby. Did you give daddy a run for his money? Yes. What was out there? It must have been like a fox. Was it the mailman? Oh, and so I have decided to turn off my phone for the rest of the day. Um, and just kind of disconnect to reconnect. Obviously, I'm still going to vlog and film, um, but I'm really just going to do the things I love. I'm going to read. Steve and I are going to hang out. I'm going to run errands and just relax. Um, I find that oftentimes for me to, like, reconnect, I must disconnect from all those things. So that's what I'm going to do. I just posted on Instagram that i um, kind of going MIA, turn off the phone, um, and I went ahead and put all my new music that I just got on my iPod Touch so I don't even have to turn on my phone to listen to music. Uh, yeah. And I'd also encourage some of you to do this as well every once in a while. So I think it's important to get away from all the nonsense once in a while. Oh, I just finished my 16-hour fast. I'm doing intermittent fasting. So I basically have 16 hours of fasting, eight hours of eating. So I'm making my favorite breakfast right now, which is I have some toast. I'm going to put some mashed avocado on it, a scrambled egg on top, some Trader Joe's bagel seasoning, and some Tabasco sauce. Literally my favorite breakfast. Yum, yum, yum. Ugh, so good. Bubba's also has ended his intermittent fast and is eating his breakfast. This one's getting ready to leave the house. Where are you going? I'm going to a college interview. I'm because giving... he's hoping to get back in college. <laughs> no, I'm what are you doing? No, I'm interviewing a college applicant on the other side of town. Um, as a Georgetown alum, he is interviewing potential Georgetown students. Mm -hmm. And no, then uh, seniors in high school. Well, yeah, potential students. That have applied to Georgetown and like gives feedback on their interviews. I, on the other hand, am getting ready to head to Home Goods to check out their Valentine's Day decorations. I'm also totally casual wearing my Lululemon hat and then doing all the things shirt. Um, if you want to pick one up, along with checking out the other designs I've created, I will link my shop down below. Then just some skinny jeans and some Golden Goose sneakers. And now I must say, now that I've mastered tucking my shoelaces in while keeping the shoes still tight, they are my new favorite shoes. And I am definitely getting more pairs. Going to grab my coat, and we are going to head on out. I'm gonna to run to Home Goods um, and look for some Valentine's decorations and also kind of share with you what I'm thinking for Valentine's Day and something that Steven and I are going to be doing that you have time to implement, which I'm super excited about. So what we're doing is I'm gonna give Steven 14 pink hearts, I'm gonna have 14 red hearts. We're gonna write things that we love about each other, big and small, and then each day we're responsible for hiding them, putting them somewhere in the house that will cross our path during that day. So that's a really fun thing you can do with your kids, with your spouse, anything. So really excited about that. I also got to share with you all that I found an artist today, um, just randomly, and now I'm completely, completely obsessed with their music. Um, and her name is, let me get it right, I'm not going to be able to say it. Fazia, it's F-A-O-U, 
Z-I-A. I love all her songs, but a song called This Mountain is phenomenal. And we're gonna do an old school um, car haul because I've not done one of those in a really long time, but I did find some really cute stuff at Home Goods, so let me show you. First is this really, really cute felt wreath. I think it's just absolutely adorable. Also found, um, all of you have seen, I've uh, done like this very neutral theme with my pillows in my living room. So I found this pillow that matches that creamy off-white and it says love. Then I also found a couple other things. So I do not love the bear on this dish towel, so I'm going to use the plain white side, but I loved the heart with this little trim. So I'm going to utilize this and just reverse that bear so you don't see it front and center. Then I picked up this little sign to lean up somewhere. It says you plus me equals love. I bought, I always try to find when I'm doing seasonal decorating, like something really small that I like can pack a punch. So I can like tilt these um, little dishes. I bought three of them, one in this light pink and two white ones. And I can like kind of like stack them or like tilt them in like little spots. So I bought those. And then Steven and I did a coffee mug clear out, but then I found these and it's the only season I don't have represented is Easter. So one says good egg and one says bad egg. So I picked those up too. Um, even though we just got rid of mugs, I just added two more. So that is done. Let me go back to my home screen and start Apple CarPlay. Um, yeah, so that is complete. That was successful. I'm thinking now of running to Target and seeing what they have and then also maybe running to Michael's as well. That friend was just staring at me because I'm like talking so energetically to all of you, but you know what? There's no shame. I'm just talking to my friends, that's it. I'm telling you what, my friends. I truly believe when you put out kindness, kindness comes back to you because I got to Target, got parked, went to grab my wallet and realized I didn't have it. What happened is when I was trying to get my receipt put away and the bag sorted, I set it in the cart, um, like that little place where you put kids, that little front cubby, and put my card away and didn't grab my wallet. So I just drove back to Home Goods and I walked up to the counter and I was like, did anyone hand in a wallet? She's like, yes, can you tell me what it looks like? I said, oh, it's a Louis Vuitton wallet, it's brown. I said, my ID's inside of it. Um, and she was like, no, someone found it just like four minutes ago, which I left about four minutes ago. And she goes, they brought it straight to us, it's locked up, let me go get it. Um, and I truly believe when you put out kindness, you get it back and also, I think there is so much more good in the world than bad. It's just that you remember the bad more and the bad gets better ratings, but there are so many good people in the world. At Target, I didn't pick up a lot. I picked up two different garlands. Um, one will go in the kitchen window, one will go somewhere else. This table runner, I just ran the iron over it. And then two of these little pink carnation vases, they look really cute. Um, and then I also just picked up some groceries. So I've shared this before. This is my favorite lunch to make. These four packs will make me my whole week's worth of lunch. Um, so it's a chana masala mix by Tasty Bite. Um, Non-GMO, it's delicious. And then the Archer Farms coconut rice. And then I picked up some Justin's individual packs of almond butter. And I just take this with celery. So that's what I'll be doing for a lunch. I also picked up some friction pens for my Smithson notebooks so I can start working in them. All right, I'm gonna start fiddling around with these decorations and then I'll show you where we end up. I set up some of the um, Valentine's Day stuff that I bought and now realize a couple other things that I wanna pick up to finish it off, but it's pretty simple, but I'll show you just where I set everything and how I used it to give you any ideas. Um, it doesn't require a lot. Um, to make things a little bit more festive. So those little heart dishes, I just 
kind of set them up around the house and tilted them so you could easily see the shape. So I have one of the pink ones there, and then the white one is over there in that corner by the concrete apple. The little sign that I bought, I just layered back there behind this home pepper shaker, and it fits just really nice and neat there. Then with the garland, I already had my command hooks up from Christmas, so I just added that there. Once again, I picked that up at Target. Oh, also there will be a lot more coming about this. So some of the things have been delivered, but the main um, piece hasn't been. But for Valentine's Day, I bought Stephen and I the Brava oven. So we have an egg pan, a cake pan, a loaf pan, a muffin pan, a chef pan. Um, and I believe um, a couple other trays are coming with the actual oven, but I bought these extra pieces as well. But once that all comes, I can't wait to share it with you and what we think about it. All right, back to the Valentine's Day decor. So the other thing I did um, was to pull down this book. I felt like the colors went a little bit better. So just change out your books. It's an easy way to incorporate or change up the color scheme through the love pillow, this pillow combination of like the creamy whites and beiges and black, I am obsessed with. I don't know if I'll ever change it out. I might just always change out this pillow for something seasonal. Then one of the carnation pots I put here, and then I put another carnation pot in the entertainment center, had this little pink vase from H&M, added that have a little garland here from Target. What I wanna get is like some stuffed felt hearts. I might actually just make them myself to like lay within the candlesticks. I think that would be really cute. Here is where I added that heart um, runner. I just think it's super clean, simple, but a little touch of Valentine's Day. That's how I incorporated everything. Has enough impact for very little effort and it still allows my like neutral palette to like shine through which I really like and I also think that palette allows you to add those little seasonal touches here and there. I just got back from Michael's and I ended up running there while Stephen was ma uh, napping and I went to find like heart vase filler things to like put on the mantle and I was looking at them and they felt cheesy and like glittery and weird and didn't really go with what I kind of aesthetically wanted for Valentine's Day because I wanted like soft colors and um, yeah, so I ended up walking through the floral section. They were 40% off. I had a 20% off coupon. So let me show you what I ended up doing on the mantle and I really love it now. What I ended up doing is buying some peonies like in this like soft dusty pink and then this berry piece and I just cut them all off right at the stem and just kind of arrange them within the flower, um, within the candlesticks. And I really like the look. And I think like the softness of it, like really, really works for the space. It's exactly like how I want it to feel. I don't want it to feel overwhelming. I don't want it to feel too bright. I just really love it. I also then bought this really cute gray vase and then some eucalyptus um, and just arranged it in there. So that's good to go, nice and neutral grays and like this light green. Yeah, I'm really happy. And then I found those vases up there as well um, that are all like neutral colors and they were all on sale so you cannot beat it. Waiting for Steven to wake up then him and I will discuss dinner but we just went outside. Yes, we did. We just went outside. Cause you're a good boy. Cause you're such a good boy. You went outside. We did your business. Yes. He's so good. I loves you. I loves you so much. Hey, looky. I love you so much. Look at that tail going. I love you so much. Yes, I do. I love you. I love you. Oh yes, you like go head scratched. All right, my friends. So that wraps up the first weekly vlog that I'm going to be doing once a month moving forward to give you just like a picture of the week. 
Um, and I also was able to get in a seasonal Valentine's Day decorating video to you as well. Um, it's long. If you have made it this long in the weekly vlog, A, let me know if you like it, and B, make sure you leave a comment, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, join the family, and I give you kudos for making it. But in the meantime, my friends, I'm going to end it like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, to my beautiful friends, bye-bye. <laughs>